Hey everyone, this is Dyslexi. Today I'll be demonstrating two things. The first is Track IR5 by Natural Point. The second is Arma 2 by Bohemia Interactive. Hope you guys enjoy it. So, what exactly is Track IR? Well, in short, Track IR is a 6 degrees of freedom head tracking device that allows you to use your head to control in game behavior. I find it a lot easier to explain what Track IR is by actually showing you commenting on it. So with that in mind, watch this little clip of me in Arma 2, and I'll tell you what's going on. As you see here, whenever I move my head, my character responds. It's more of a response than I'm actually making head motion, which means I can look all the way to the right in-game or behind me in-game, and not be looking away from the screen. That's a common question that comes up. As you can see here, I can look up, down, lean left and right. What you don't see displayed is that you can also zoom. This is useful for me because it allows me to move and aim independently of where I'm looking, which comes in handy quite a bit. In particular, it'll come in handy for aircraft, but everyone already knows that. Track IR has made a big splash in the flight sim community already. The important thing, I think, about Arma 2 is just how high fidelity the infantry simulation of it is. The responsiveness of the Track IR 5 combined with the Arma 2 improvements is just spectacular, and the level of immersion you get from this is truly second to none. For those of you that have a previous track IR, uh, like I had a 4, let's talk about the things that make the 5 different. Now you can read the exact specs there, to sum it up, it's higher resolution, it's higher field of view, it's a much nicer hardware package, and it's a much nicer software package. Here we'll take a look at that software. This is the previs. I can move my head around and see as well as tweak how much movement is needed to get a corresponding in-game effect. You'll see that it reflects all of my movement, looking left, right, up, down, leaning, zooming in and out, rolling, and so forth. This is great for tweaking the responsiveness of your track IR to meet your personal preferences. They have a few different ways you can display it. They have the first person perspective like you saw, and they have a bunch of 3D views where you have the solid head representing actual head motion, and wireframe shows translated motion. I find it to be a major improvement from previous software. The ability to tweak your sensitivity with instant visual feedback via the previs is incredibly useful. Now as far as Arma 2 is concerned, they've made a few changes to it. They've integrated the new Track IR SDK. The head tracking in it is uh, much faster and more responsive. And they've improved the head movement restrictions. They haven't added any additional axes, but what is there is much nicer than it was in Arma 1. Let's take a look at the hardware itself now. You'll see the whole thing's been redesigned. The camera field of view is wider, the legs are different. The camera and the base themselves are magnetically attached. If there's any tension on it, instead of it breaking apart, they'll just detach and you, you know, click them back together whenever you're ready. The back of it's been changed, it has improved heat dissipation. As you see here, the magnet I mean, just leaps onto it. And the legs, uh, they're a much nicer attachment than the Track IR4, at least on my monitor. It feels a lot more stable. And there you have it, that's the basic Track IR5 hardware. It's pretty slick, it's a nice little package. One other thing. There are two ways to control a Track IR. The first is via a track hat, like what you see pictured here. And the second, which I prefer, is via an accessory called a Track Clip Pro. I got one when they first came out, attached to my headphones, and I haven't looked back. And it's completely unintrusive, and it's definitely the preferred way to do it for me. The rest of this video will cover a variety of track IR uses in Arma 2. We'll start off with some helicopter stuff, move on to infantry, and close it out with a little compilation of footage of a few of the different uses of track IR in Arma 2. Here we have a Russian Mi-24, sporting a nice range of weaponry. You've got these little fuel air bombs, anti-tank guided missiles, rockets, and of course a cannon. So let's talk about the helicopter side of things. I'm a big fan of flying helos in Arma 2, like in Arma 1 and Flashpoint before it. To me, the key point of using a track IR as a helo pilot is gaining the ability to effortlessly look in a direction that's different from where you have your aircraft's nose pointing. When flying in general, you don't want to have to point your aircraft to something just to see it. Doing that compromises how you fly and generally makes you ineffective. There are many subtle and not so subtle ways to use a track IR in flying. Personally, I like to look into my turns, 
If I'm banking left, like you see here, and I'll shift my view to the left, since that's where I'm headed and the obstacles that might uh, influence my flight will be located there. The most obvious use of track IR when in a helo lies in scanning the area around you as you fly. This helps you catch any number of things, such as enemy troops, vehicles, and so forth. You may even be lucky enough to spot an anti-air missile taking flight just in time to dump flares to avoid it. In short, it enhances situational awareness. In a game like Arma 2, situational awareness is what wins fights. Track IR is also extremely valuable when it comes to making good landings, particularly in rougher terrain. The situational awareness given by a track IR has allowed me to do any number of crazy landings in Arma 1, and I can only see it being better in Arma 2. The best praise I can give of the track IR in relation to helo piloting is that I have no doubt in Arma 1 and Arma 2 that I would have died or failed in any number of past situations if not for the situational awareness my track IR gave me. So, now that you've seen some helo stuff, let's move on to the infantry. The infantry side of track IR is something which I find to be highly immersive and helpful to use. It's the same concept as with helicopters. You can move and aim in one direction while looking in another. This has a multitude of uses as an infantryman. The most basic of those are what you see here, keeping formation with friendlies and scanning your environment while you move. It all boils down to situational awareness. The track IR allows you to maintain a level of situational awareness that's not available otherwise, and particularly in a combat simulation like Arma 2, it pays off. There are plenty of additional uses for the track IR as an infantryman. One that I find myself using a lot is to look around while prone with my head, leaving my body stationary. This helps to reduce your visual signature. If only your head is turning, the enemy may not notice you. If your whole body is rotating on the ground by comparison, you'll draw the enemy's eye and after that, their fire. Then, of course you have the ability to do an incremental lean. While I tend to use the normal lean most of the time, there are often occasions where I need the extra precision that the track IR allows for. Using the incremental lean allows you to expose the smallest amount of your body as possible, reducing your visual signature and providing a harder target for the enemy to spot or shoot. Since you don't have to aim and look at the same place, you can be moving along a wall, aiming down the wall, but looking so that you see off to the side. Basically, you keep your view from being taken up by wasted space, in this case, a very non-threatening wall. You are instead free to focus on the important things, such as where your muzzle is and where the enemy can potentially be. I'm a big fan of doing threat scans while reloading. This is simply the act of looking left and right while you're busy reloading to see if there are any hostiles nearby. You'll be surprised at how many times this will save your virtual life in Arma 2. So there you go, that's a few of the different ways you can use a track IR as an infantryman in Arma 2. I find it to be a very compelling usage, it's natural. It's how a person would move. You move where you want to move, look where you want to look, and shoot where you want to shoot. The track IR facilitates that. Now, for those of you that are looking at getting one of these, feel free to use either of the referral links provided. The first one will give you a discount on a standard track IR 5 package, while the second will give you a discount on the track IR 5 plus the track clip pro. But I'd recommend the second one. Now, if parts of this come across as a testimonial, it, it pretty much is. Uh, if you check my account, you've seen I've been doing videos of Track IR for, well, since Arma came out. I've been using it since Arma came out. I'm using a variety of games, but the primary one I do is Arma, and now Arma 2. Uh, I cannot imagine playing either of the games without a Track IR. I very strongly believe that you will not be disappointed if you pick one of these up. I, I think the footage pretty much speaks for itself. This is a fantastic peripheral. There's nothing else that'll increase your immersion like this. And it gets my seal of approval for what that's worth. If you pick one up, by all means, feel free. Drop me an email and let me know what you think of it. I'm always interested in getting feedback on it. So, to close this out, Track IR5 is out now. Arma 2 will be out soon. They're both fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.